Okay, so let's solve this problem. So to find the integral of logarithms or rational functions using this formula, then for this given, so first we need to rewrite this given. So we just need to put this constant outside. So this becomes 2, then the integral of dx over 3x minus 4. Then using the u substitution, so u equals, u is the denominator, so that's 3x minus 4. Then to find the u or the derivative of u, so the derivative of 3x, that's 3, and the derivative of 4, this one is 0, so du is 3 dx. Then since we have dx, so to solve for dx, divide both sides by 3. So therefore, du over 3 is equal to dx. Then from the u substitution, so from this equation, so we have 2, then the integral of dx and dx is du over 3. So du over 3, then over this 3x minus 4 is equal to u. Then we need to put this denominator 3 outside. So we have 2 over 3, then the integral of du over u. Then this time, we can use now this formula to find the integral of du over u. So this becomes 2 over 3, then ln, the absolute value of u, then plus c. Then substitute now the value of u. So this becomes 2 over 3, then ln the absolute value of u and u is 3x minus 4. So the absolute value of 3x minus 4, then plus c. Then for this given, so again, we need to rewrite this given. So put this constant outside. So we have 4, then the integral of dy over 5y plus 2, then using the u substitution, so u is equal to 5y plus 2, and du, so the derivative of u, the derivative of 5y, this is 5, and for the constant, this one is 0, so du is 5 dy, then to solve for dy, so divide both sides by 5. So we have du over 5 is equal to dy. Then from du substitution and from this equation, so we have 4. Then the integral of dy and dy is du over 5. So this is du over 5, then over. 5y plus 2 and 5y plus 2 is equal to u and put this denominator outside so this becomes 4 over 5 then the integral of du over u and from this formula so we have 4 over 5 then ln the absolute value of u plus c and substitute now the value of u so we have 4 over 5 then ln the absolute value of u and u is 5y plus 2 so the absolute value of 5y plus 2 then plus c then for this given so u is x to the power 3 plus 4. Then du, so the derivative of u, the derivative of x to the power 3, this one is 3x, then minus 1 for this exponent, 
So, 3x to the power 2, this one is 0. So, du is 3x squared dx. Then, since we have this x squared dx, and to solve for x squared dx, so divide both sides by 3. So, we have du over 3 equals x squared dx. And from the u substitution, so we have the integral of x squared dx, that's du over 3. So we have du over 3, then over this x to the power 3 plus 4, that's u. Then put this denominator 3 outside, so this becomes 1 over 3. Then the integral of du over u, and from this formula, so we have 1 over 3, then ln, the absolute value of u, and u is x to the power 3 plus 4. So x to the power 3 plus 4 plus c. Then for this given, so u, so this denominator, so we have x squared minus 5x plus 3 and du, so the derivative of u, the derivative of x squared, this is 2x, then minus the derivative of 5x, that's 5, and the derivative of a constant, this one is 0, so du is 2x minus 5 dx. Then, since we have this 2x minus 5 dx, so we can use now the u substitution. So, we have the integral of 2x minus 5 dx is equal to du. So, this is du over this x squared minus 5x plus 3. That's u. So, we have the integral of du over u. And that's equal to ln then the absolute value of u, and u is x squared minus 5x plus 3, so we have x squared minus 5x plus 3, then plus c. Then for this given, so u equals x to the power 3 minus 6x plus 2, and du, so the derivative of x to the power 3, this is 3x, then to the power 2, minus the derivative of 6x, this is 6, then this is 0, so we have 3x squared minus 6, then the dx, since the numerator is x squared minus 2, so we need to factor out this equation since we have this common, so, we need to put this 3 outside. So, this becomes x to the power 2 minus this 6 divided by 3, that's 2. Then the dx, so du equals 3 times x squared minus 2, then the dx, and divide both sides by 3. So, we have now du over 3 is equal to x squared minus 2, then the dx. Then using now the u substitution, so we have now the integral of du over 3. So du over 3 over, this is u. Then put this denominator outside. So that's 1 over 3, then the integral of du over u. Then from this formula, so this becomes 1 over 3, then ln, the absolute value of u and u is x to the power 3 minus 6x plus 2 plus c. Then for this given, so take note that if the degree of the numerator is greater than or equal to the degree 
of the denominator, then we need to simplify first the given. So to simplify, so using the long division, so we have this x plus 3, then divide by x minus 1, then to divide, so the first term, divide by the first term, so x divide by x, that's 1, then multiply, so 1 times x, that's x, and 1 times negative 1, this is negative 1, then change the sign, so this becomes negative, and this becomes positive, so we can cancel now this x, and positive 3 plus 1, this is positive 4, and positive 4 is the remainder, so we can rewrite now this given as the integral of 1, then since the remainder is positive, so plus 4, then over this x minus 1, then the dx, and to find now the integral, so we just need to distribute this integral, so we can have the integral of 1, then the dx, plus the integral of 4, dx over x minus 1. Then to rewrite, so we have now the integral of 1 dx, or the integral of dx, plus, so we need to put this constant outside, so plus 4, so the integral of dx over x minus 1. Then to find now the integral, so since the integral of dx is x, so again the integral of dx, that's x, then plus, so for this term, so using the u substitution, and u is the denominator, then du, so the derivative of x, that's 1, or 1 dx, or du, is equal to dx, and from the u substitution, so we have 4, then the integral of dx is du over x minus 1, that's u, so over u, then from this formula, so we have now x plus 4, then du over u, so we have ln, then the absolute value of u and u is x minus 1 plus c. Then for this given, since the degree of this numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, then we need to simplify so using the long division, so we have x to the power 3 minus 2x squared plus, since there is no x, so we need to add x, so we can have 0x, then plus 2, so we need to complete this equation using the long division, then divide, divide by x, minus 1, then when dividing, so divide the first term by this first term, so x to the power 3 divide by x, this is x to the power 2, then multiply, so x to the power 2 times x, that's x to the power 3, and x to the power 2 times negative 1, so negative x to the power 2, then change the sign, so this becomes negative, and this is positive, so this one is 0, then negative 2x squared, and positive 1x squared, so this is negative 1x squared, then you bring down this positive 0x, then divide, so negative x squared divided by x, 
this is negative x, so just subtract the exponent, then x times x, so this is negative x squared, and negative x times negative 1, that's positive x, so negative times negative, that's positive, then change the sign, so this becomes positive, and this becomes negative, so cancel now this x squared and you add so 0 minus x this is negative x then bring down this positive 2 and negative x divide by x that's negative 1 and negative 1 times x that's negative x negative 1 times negative 1 that's positive 1 then change the sign, so this becomes positive, and this becomes negative. So this is cancel, and positive 2 minus 1, that's positive 1. So the remainder is positive 1. So we can rewrite now this given as the integral of x to the power 2, then minus x minus 1, then from the remainder, since this one is positive, so plus 1 over this x minus 1, then the dx. Then we can now distribute this integral, so we can have the integral of x to the power to dx, then minus the integral of x, then the dx, then minus the integral of 1 dx, and plus the integral of dx over x minus 1. Then to find out the integral, so the integral of x to the power 2, so just add 1 for the exponent, so this becomes x to the power 3 over since the exponent is 3, so the denominator is also 3. Then minus the integral of x dx, so again, plus 1 for the exponent, so 1 plus 1. That's x to the power 2 over 2. Then minus for the integral of dx, so the integral of dx, that's x. Then plus... For this rational function, so u is x minus 1, and du, so the derivative of x, that's 1 dx, or du is equal to dx, so this becomes the integral of dx, and dx is du over x minus 1. That's u. Then from this formula, so we have x to the power 3 over 3 minus x squared over 2 minus x then plus, that's ln then the absolute value of u. So plus ln then the absolute value of u and u is x minus 1 plus C.